you doing? Hey, today I'm gonna to show you a saw uh, that's kind of a pretty cool saw, but I was planning on taking it to saw fest, but I'm not gonna be able to, and I'm gonna kind of go over it and show you why. Um, I've been kind of tinkering with it, and you know, I got it running and everything, so that's good, but everything else on it is, you know, everything needs repaired. So she's gonna take some time to finish it. So let me kind of go over this saw with you and show you what we're looking at because some of these parts might be kind of hard to find. Alrighty. All right, so this is a home light. 550. This is Dino Joe's Home Light 550. Um, so it's a basket case saw. Uh, pretty much everything on it that could leak is leaking. And it's pretty rough. I'm, I mean, I just now had it running and she's spitting all kinds of goop up into the air box. Um, I think it's actually bar oil. You got it, got it running down here. I think it's the old motor oil bar oil. You see it's over here too um and which is kind of funny because you know it looks like they were running motor oil in it like use motor oil for bar oil but the funny part is uh if you look up here nothing comes out where it's supposed to so you know she's probably going to need a new kit put in it for the oil pump um that's one of those parts that can be hard to find, but I think I know where there's one or two sitting. So I'm trying to remember if he still has them or not, but I'll contact him and see if he does. But I think we're gonna need an oil pump kit for this saw. Uh, when you do find them, they're not cheap. So, you know, it's one of those things. Uh, what else? The muffler, the muffler's held together with wire. So I want to see what's going on there and fix that. Uh, she has the worst air leak I've ever seen in a saw. I mean, you can't even touch it without it shutting off on you. Like you can get it to run and idle, but as soon as you touch it, she just wants to shut off on you. Like even if you try to tilt it just a little bit, like it's pretty bad. Uh, she is just barely running because of how much of an air leak it is. it does have. Now, it's not at the intake boot. I did confirm that. The intake boot looks like it was actually replaced at one time. Uh, I'm thinking somebody might have assumed that that was the issue. And that was not the issue. Uh, I do have another intake boot. I'll probably throw on it when I tear it down. Uh, you know, just to be on the safe side. But I don't see any issues with it. it I mean, it's still good and soft and everything. And it actually looks like it was replaced at one time. Uh, the work I had to do to it to get it running was really just in the fuel system. Uh, she was all stuffed full of the nastiest stuff you can imagine. So here's the old fuel filter and you can imagine what got sucked up into this thing with that fuel filter. Uh, the, the, the fuel line is hard like plastic. But you can imagine, she was pretty bad. Every little nook and cranny in that carburetor was stuffed full of junk. Um, but I got it cleaned out. She does run fine now, except for, you know, all the issues. Uh, the, the trigger on it was all gooped up and wouldn't function. I had to tear it apart and get it cleaned up. Uh, the, the lock wouldn't work. So I had to, you know, take care of that. And I, I, it still doesn't want to work completely. See, see, it doesn't want to work right now. But if I give it a little tap like that, she comes out and locks. You know what I mean? But if I'm gentle with it, she'll she'll stay like that. But as soon as I give her a little snap, boom, she's locked. So that's one of those things we'll take care of as we tear into it. But yeah, she does run just very badly. Um, I just had it running, but it was dark outside, so it's kind of hard to get camera footage whenever you do that, you know what I mean? But that's where we're at on this saw. Um, I did want to take it to saw fest and give it back to him, but she just needs too much work. Uh, I'd basically be giving him a saw that hardly ran, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, if you're not familiar with these saws, they're pretty cool. They're like, I think they're 80cc, 
Uh, pretty, pretty cool saw. Very large fuel tank on it. Uh, much larger than you'd expect. I bet these things run for a long time on a tank of gas. And the old tank's almost just as big. Um, so I think these saws were built to be a logging saw originally. A very large fuel tanks supply 80 cc, you know what I mean? Um, so they did get used pretty hard out in the woods. Uh, mostly just loggers would be looking for something like this, you know what I mean? And that's what they got used for. But yeah, she is a runner, but she doesn't run well. Now I do own a 550 myself. It's running you know, pretty decent. So I will bring, be bringing it to Solve Fest. I was hoping to bring this one too, but I'm not gonna be able to. So you'll get to see one of them there. Just not gonna see both. So there's what she looks like. I, uh, I put the hood on it. Uh, it was missing this little knob here. I uh, found one and put it on there. I think this one's actually off of a 350 or 360, but it seemed to work perfect for this saw. Um, so there you get it with the hood and all. Uh, this is gonna be a project we're gonna be working on. This is just a repair. Uh, it's not something that we're gonna be porting or anything like that. It's just a repair. It's just, it's gonna need a lot of repair. So I'm probably gonna disassemble this saw pretty much the whole way down for the most part. I won't pull the cylinder or anything off unless we got a leak. Now this is a project you're gonna be seeing here come up. This is not a port job. This is just a simple repair job that we will be working on. And it's gonna take some time because some of these parts might be difficult to find. But we're gonna to try to get her fixed all up nice and neat for Joe and you know get her back to good condition. Yeah, these home light 550s are pretty cool saws um they might be one of my favorite larger displacement saws that home light ever made it is a piston ported um you know i'm actually looking to collect all of these series of saws so i have like the 35 the 350 the 360 um i have a 550 i still need a 450 and a 750 yet but you know I'm, i'll get there one day I just want to get one of each, you know? I'm not looking to have a whole slew of them or anything. I just wanted one of each in my collection that are up and running. And I'm getting there slowly. But this one here, we're just going to fix it up for Dino Joe. And that way he can make some videos on it, maybe comparing it to some other vintage saws from other makers like Husqvarna or whatever. You know, uh, it would make some good content on both our ends, you know? I'll get her fixed up for him and then he gets to use it and compare it to some other saws that are out there, you know? So you'll probably see content of this saw for a nice long time. But hey, I uh, thought you'd enjoy this little update on the Home Light 550 for Dino Joe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Mm -hmm.